Black Ops 6 is finally here! Oh no! I've waited so long for a brand new Black Ops title to come out and it's finally here. We have the gameplay reveal trailer and a completely other different video to go over which is the Black Ops 6 Direct. I have no idea what to expect from either of them but we're going to look at both and we are going to have a look at what is going on with the newest Call of Duty title. I'm going to be honest, this one is make or break for me if this isn't it. If Black Ops 6 just doesn't have what I'm looking for, <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but I'm excited for it because I've seen stuff going around. Noah J456 and some other content creators around zombies were invited to Treyarch to check out Black Ops 6 before launch, which tells me there is a major focus on zombies, which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited about it, but enough waffling. We're going to jump straight back into it. I'm going to stick my headset on. I haven't seen any of it yet. I apologize for the late video. I've been busy sorting out a few things. We got the cup of tea. I keep hitting the space bar, but I'm still on Earth. <laughs> We're just going to jump straight into the gameplay reveal trailer first, just to see what's going on. We'll watch it all the way through because it's the shorter one, and then we'll flitter back through. Flitter? Is that a word? We'll go back through and point out a few things that are interesting of me. So let's go. Black on six, maybe. The Soviet Union is no more. Despite a potential for instability and chaos, these events clearly serve our national Is that Mustang and Sally? The Illuminati? And the specter of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. Something big. I'm a fire starter. Talk with the big fire starter. This has got to be good, I man. If I stuck around hell long enough, I see the devil. How's he look? Adler's back. Okay. I'm a fire starter. I'm a big fire starter. The agency is compromised. We're being hunted from the inside. I really hope this is like an action film. You don't have to trust me, Marshal. But it might be better if you do. Hey. It's something you should see. What the hell are we getting into? <laughs> Don't trust anyone. You broke into a CIA black site. Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. Continue to bless the United States of America. Pre-order the Vault Edition and get the Hunters vs. Hunted Operator Pack, the Mastercraft Weapon Collection, the Season 1 Black Cell Bundle... <laughs> oh, and so much has just happened in two minutes. Okay, let, let's, let's go back through. There was a few things that I wanted to look at again. So we got Woods back, we got Adler back, it's the original crew, basically. And he's in a wheelchair. Does that confirm Black Ops 2? That, 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 that. Why are we getting grabbed by a fucking... I need to use this precision shit. Okay, this. We're getting grabbed by a mannequin. What is going on here? What is this about? What is that in the background? Oh, I didn't get a chance to look at it. It was something applications. Okay. There, that's zombies. December 29th, 1990. Okay. I need a sip of this tea. Jesus Christ. Chat, is that Mauer? <laughs> is that Mauer DeSoten? I know that's a crazy thing to say because all I can see is a phone box and a sign behind him, but there was a dive that I wanted to look at again. There, coming up to it. This. You, broke into a CIA you can dive site. backwards now. Are you out of your mind? You can dive backwards now. Freedom never sleeps! Ah! There's nothing original in gaming, is there? <laughs> oh, this looks insane. Let's just look at the the things at the end again. May God 
continue to bless the United States of America. Okay, so these are operators. These are people you can play as, right? I recognize this mask. I don't know who this is. This is Adler, isn't it? This is an Adler skin. He's got the hair and the sunglasses. Okay, so we've got an Adler skin. We've got fucking Brutus as a playable character. And <laughs> Klaus! <laughs> oh, man. The open beta. <laughs> Bobble comes are back, man. Oh my god. That was a crazy, crazy, crazy reveal. I am genuinely so excited already. I'm going to quickly move on to this next thing here. The uh, Black Ops 6 Direct is a 24 minute video. Um, Just so we can see what's going on. Because it's 24 minutes, I'm not going to watch it all the way through first. We will stop and make comments as we go. But I just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, man. Black Ops 6. Oh man, I waited so long for this game. So long. <laughs> Fuck him up, bro. The quality looks a bit naff. Hold on. No. Oh, this is the max, okay. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation Good man. Good across man. parts of the game. I'm excited for this. For over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something special. Sorry, it stunned me that less than a minute in, we've got the fucking DG2 Wonderwolf deconstruction on the wall. That is actually really sick. I really, I would have that on a poster. That is really cool. I can tell you that we have something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Mocaps takedowns, that's pretty cool. Oh, that looks clean. He's got a ray gun on his desk. Well, I would do the same, bro. I would do the same. That is actually such a cool thing to have. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history. Good. Resting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the US government. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. Isn't that just the plot of Splinter Cell? <laughs> this looks sick! Oh, a non-lethal on the police. Nice. I like the look of this. aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Hell yeah. Intercept, okay. Of course here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni movement system. Huh? New way to push beyond your limits and, we got and move jetpacks like back. Action hero. Oh! We'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round that was Max Payne hell divers better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that, let's step into the mind bending. Bro, he just teased me with our partners at Raven. I'm so excited for this. No turning back now. Hello. Modern Warfare 2. No Russian. <laughs> Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. Okay, God bless, because I just replayed Cold War and it just was not it. Blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We're giving you more variety more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and more options to finish each mission okay cool do this loud or quiet. let's go stealth approach you guys know i'm all i'm all over In stealth man unexpected moments of black ops mystery it's a high octane spy thriller it's where spies you're not sure who to trust and what's real and it's all set against the backdrop <laughs> of the early 90s the soviet union was crumbling after the fall of the berlin wall and the end of the cold war 
the U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, uh, this, and pop culture. This has the opportunity to be the best Black Ops of when all time. talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Some you should see. It leads on after Black Ops 2. Oh, uh, we're going to have to replay Black Ops 2. The rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. With veteran Frank Woods as our through line. And Let's go! Woods was always the goat, the goat man. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. Oh, I feel a bit bad, man. Is Troy Marshall. I miss him joining me in the field. the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Okay, he looks Marshall cool. Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. Okay. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. Oh, this sounds they so cool. They realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Sabati Dima, a mysterious assassin. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative... My man! Adler, the guy that shot me! Months, the former ally may have become a new enemy. Adler's the Ops! Adler's the Ops! ...prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. A heist! Oh, this is sick. We to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. There's them mo -cap in it. I love it. combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences and we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all so i can actually interact with the world to beat the missions what is this hitman sliding's back we know dolphin diving's back we are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign the goal was to provide different Ooh. challenges for the player so whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, that's me, baby. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. Okay, cool, cool. I like that. But caught off escape routes, push on players' location, and force them to think on their feet. We've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. Mm. One mission in particular takes place in a That could play variety. really well, really well or really bad. Missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the, the SAS. Best game maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people. They know we're coming. Holy shit, this is like a film, bro. find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in southern Europe. This looks so good, man. Any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of our missions we have set We got an excavator before GTA 6. I need to stop popping these jokes, dude. This could be, I think I'm going to let it play, but I think this might be the map from Black Ops 1, by the general look of it. I'm hoping it's the map from Black Ops 1. That would be sick. In the harsh tundra of northern Russia. Maybe not. 
we are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. Oh, CXDs are, are back! Tranquilizer trap. That's cool. Adrenaline stem. Homing knife. Homing knife. Disruptor. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay. We also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. There's one thing that will make or break this campaign for me. I don't know if you guys remember the campaign for Cold War. Why is my waveform so bad? In the campaign for Cold War, you can't change your field of view. And I know that's such a small thing to make or break it for you. But when you've been playing Call of Duty Zombies for years, um, more so than the campaign, and even the older titles like Black Ops 1 and 2 with Plutonium, you can, probably with the Steam versions as well, you can change the field of view in the console. And not being able to do that on the campaign for Cold War was starting to kill it for me a little bit. So I'm really hoping there's an FOV slider for the campaign as well. That's just a small thing that would bother me. We chose to have our team's hub located but this in is a cool. more naturalistic setting. So it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. Looks cool. Looks What's cool. Most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which uh. was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. It looks like, because Cold War did this a little bit, you could go through the safe house, find certain things from evidence, unlock codes and find extra stuff. It looks like you're going to be able to do that as you progress through the campaign too, which is really cool. I really like that from Cold War. But it also looked like, let me just see if I can grab it back. And we'll there. It looks like, hopefully, you can customize your weapons. Uh, in the safe house, you can actually pick your um, attachments and stuff, which would be really cool because Black Ops 2 let you do that. And I really enjoyed that, being able to pick your guns when you go in. And I really hope they bring that back. Allow players to explore and I know you can pick them up from enemies, but it's not the same. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still... Let's go! We have to solve more puzzles. But with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go! That was sick. Great. I think we got it. Let's go. Black Ops 6, our goal is to right, before we move on to the next bit, I just want to say that campaign looks sick. I am all over anything to do with spy stuff and espionage. That is like a major thing for me. I really enjoy all sorts of content that revolves around stealth. I grew up with the Splinter Cell games um, and playing it stealthy has <laughs> always been my approach. Like with the OG squad, there was a guy in there the, um, my, my OG squad, the people I used to play Call of Duty with back when I was back in school, there was a guy in there that would much rather go in with rocket launchers and miniguns, and it ended up being like a debate. Do we do rocket launchers and miniguns, or do we do suppressed pistols and crawl around and be all cool? I don't know. I just, I love that you can choose that now. I love that you have the option. That is such a cool little thing to put in, and for it to impact, and the fact you could interact with the environment for different ways to do it, uh, you could probably just go in guns blazing on every single mission, right? But you could actually think about the way you want to do it. Oh, I might end up streaming the campaign. I might end up doing the campaign on here because that is sick. That is sick. To create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate. Throwing knives back. Hell divers. Black Ops experience for our players. Okay, the has been a TTK looks good. Focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire Oh, you can vault chairs and shit. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. Oh, oh. The ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide 
dive and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. That's sick. I actually really like that. From the beginning, we started with, you can't do this thing, why? And then realize people... Like, that's the one thing that gets me caught out quite a bit with multiplayer. If someone comes from behind me, I have to dive and then do a full 360 on the floor. Uh, but this extra movement is going to be sick. And that, that was for the old games. Like, I'm not great at sliding to cover. So being able to dive and turn at the same time to respond is going to be sick. I need to play more Helldivers. I've just got into that game. I have like 37 hours on it already. <laughs> We're going to uh, practice the diving. People actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction. You could slide in any direction, mm -hmm. which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. On the ground movement is my favorite kind of movement. See, that looks sick. That is the kind of movement I want in. I'm not a fan of the exosuits or anything like that from the old games, but this is sick. Something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP or zombies. We truly believe oh. that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. Oh, I agree. <laughs> this might get me back into multiplayer. There's a heavy focus on shotguns. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. See, that's a cool idea, but pressing the buttons is part of the experience for me. Or experience with Call of Duty to be able to engage with Omni movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. This looks so good, man. They've really thought about stuff, which is really nice. Other genres like racing games, where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own. That was sick. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Oh. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. That's really cool. So world connectivity is this concept. That's that so cool. And reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. Okay, that's cool. We're constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Hello? Are these score streaks? Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best. Okay, let's look at the characters. This is so cool. There's so much. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. They actually scan stuff. For our faces, a dynamic real time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. We made sure. To have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails, and the oils on their palms as they're sweaty and running through situations that they're in. They really thought of everything. This is We're paying attention to every detail. That was a zombie. Oh man. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added. Go on, go on. Brand new Show me. Guys. Show me. Show me what Our we got. Those are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix. Was that the Makarov? 
Was that the Makarov again? I missed that pistol. And this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. I'm so excited for this, man. I'm so excited for this. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper-real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real-world reference so that we can match that motion the weight, the timing, then riff off. Oh, Treyarch are actually the goat, man. That everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. I would actually love to work for Treyarch so I can see how they do all of this because that is mad. Okay, let's look at the HUD. Let's look at the HUD. Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. And our in game HUD is no different. From the mini map to the widget. Oh, that's clean. That's like BO2 days. That's clean. One of the things that I didn't like with Black Ops 4 is the amount of like stuff that was on the HUD. That was the reason that I didn't get it when it first came out. And I like this. It's got the traditional kill feed on the side. You've got the minimap, the score. I don't know what that is on the right. Like the quick regen and movement speed must be like respawn perks or something. But you've got the... I can't show it because of the bloody pause in the bottom right. Notifications. The Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. This looks so good. This looks so good. First time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. Think. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup, or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. This is so cool. Anywhere, or finally put the mini map in the bottom left. Those are options as well. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps Oh, them that's the so cool. Awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience. How is brother not taking any hits? <laughs> combat and back, where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. What's going on? Okay, here we go. Progression. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Good. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for how we used to handle prestige. And they brought back classic prestige! Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. We've pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Oh, it's like being Black a kid Ops again, man. This is so cool. Each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Players who make it through prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through. Oh, you multiplayer mains are fucked, bro. <laughs> dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. Oh, I actually got tears in my eyes, man. On day one in Black Ops 6. I've actually got tears in my eyes because they're really thinking about the players in this one. Everything we used to love is back, man. Here we go. Here we go. Multiplayer. How many of our players oh, are going to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Yeah. Recon is all about intel and counter intel. Oh. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Okay. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode. Theater mode's back! <laughs> Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that means you're going to get some early details on maps. Come on, Nuketown's back. Come on, tell me Nuketown's back. 
Make my year. We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. Come on. We've got 12 core 6v6. I want to see Nuketown and Firing Range. Those are the two that would make it for me. 6v6 or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane map. Let's go. We've got fast frenetic experiences and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. That's really cool. That's really cool. I didn't recognize any of those maps, but... We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you... This is it, chat! More. This is it! Let's go! <laughs> What the fuck is that? Round base zombies is it's brown based. picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies. Okay, there's new zombies types. Okay. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. Come on. As you've heard today, the innovations in movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Oh, yes. Plus, there are many additional zombie specific features both new and returning what we got this is going to be a what we got bro come on tell me something show me something be on the lookout for more intel coming later. no Steph interviewed ab mark is that it is that all we get gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at call of duty next on august 28th Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content on. in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Are we getting a new Warzone? Our goal on Black Ops 6 was, and still is, to make something that is the best work we've ever done, and frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement. That's really cool. Now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige. Then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across this is weapons, so cool, man. Gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. This is so cool. This has actually got me excited. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops. And yeah. hopefully in the sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever from movement to shooting, to footsteps, to engagement systems, to death. And last, but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round based zombies. Let's go! So much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. October 25th, huh? On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I am so all over this, man. This is genuinely. Like, I know I was excited for Modern Warfare 3 and it let me down, but this genuinely feels like... Why did it say 25th there? Alright, what do we get? The same things you're going to show me before? Yeah, yeah. That's Park! Park's alive?! I thought Park got iced in Cold War. 
that was so cool okay that that was it that was that was everything i think so far dear god that was a lot of information i'm actually so excited to get back into this like we've got the classic prestige system which i imagine based on games like cold war your level will carry over between multiplayer and zombies which is really cool i hope that's still the thing classic round based classic round base we're spawning with an m19 again we've got gobble gums back there's a brutus skin which makes me think we're going back to alcatraz somehow i don't know how oh man i was not expecting it to look this good i was not expecting it to look this good we've got this new movement which i'm really excited to try out because the old movement was fun but having the ability to dive and turn at the same time will be a game changer genuinely a game changer the ability to customize the hud that is fantastic i love that makes the game even more accessible and uh, admittedly i probably won't be changing my hud i like it how it is but people have that option now which is really cool i really like that god there was so much i can't even focus the campaign the campaign looks absolutely immaculate i'm really looking forward to checking that out it looks, I, I, I'm a sucker for spy stuff. Any sort of spy thriller sort of stuff, that, that gets me. If you want to see me play the campaign on the channel, I'm 100% down to do that. Just let me know in the comments if you'd be interested to see that. Oh, the multiplayer. The multiplayer is immaculate. Like, where do I even start? Where do I even start? We have the classic movement system gone. We have a brand new movement system coming in to help like the diving and stuff like that i immediately thought this is hell divers and i fucking love the movement of hell divers if you haven't played it you should being able to dive behind cover when someone's firing rockets at you or something like that is it's it's insane it's insane the amount of times i've dived just out of reach of a 500 kilogram <laughs> and we've got the classic map systems coming back the three routes oh my days i they didn't reveal anything about the score streaks or anything like that but i will continue to look at the reveals as they go on i feel like i want to check out the multiplayer with black ops 6 as well obviously first thing we're going to do when we get it is check out the zombies because my god that looks sick this is the first time in a long time i've been this excited about zombies so and, and call of duty as a whole I, the campaign has pulled me in already with the concept of it the multiplayer looks fun i stopped playing that a long time ago and that of course rab zombies man rab zombies oh thank you everyone for joining me looking at this today i'm so excited i am so so excited let me know your thoughts about black ops 6 down below and oh my days oh my days i'm gonna go and make another cup of tea because i'm losing it i'm losing it chat i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> Here comes zombies. It's back, baby. It's back. <laughs>